Mola Ram, prepare to meet Kali and hell, a hell full of CGI monkeys, ants, and gophers, a hell full of aliens, and that stuttering kid from Transformers where you need a refrigerator to protect you. Ugh, sounds like a bad sequel. If you hate snakes but love adventure, then get your Sideshow Collectibles Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom 1 6 scale figure at Sideshow Collectibles. Link is in the description. Where you gonna go for your toy review? Short long! Short long! Action figures, big movies, big news! Short long! Short long! What up, big kids? Here's your big review the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom Sideshow Collectibles Indiana Jones 1 6 scale movie figure Sideshow exclusive. I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending me out this review. You can buy this at their website, link is in the description. The packaging has a nice picture of Indiana Jones on the front. It says, If Adventure has a name, it must be Indiana Jones with a big Sideshow exclusive sticker on it. The back here has a nice picture of the figure and a nice spile. Indiana Jones, the daredevil archaeologist who saved mankind in Raiders of the Lost Ark, is back in one of the biggest box office smashes in history. This time, Indy's out to find the famous Ankara Stone and to save hundreds of children who have been enslaved by the mysterious cult in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. It's an adventure packed masterpiece of special effects and edge of your seat adventure. Harrison Ford leads an incredible cast in this breathtaking epic shot by three continents of the filmmakers creators George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Out of the packaging this is everything you get with the figure. The head sculpt on this guy actually has amazing likeness to Harrison Ford. I would say it's even better than the Hot Toys in Indiana Jones we got a few years back. However paint apps could be a little bit better. I mean I do love the blood right there and he has Harrison Ford scar but it just doesn't look as realistic as the Hot Toys one and one thing you can notice this is he has two different looks you can display him without his fedora the only problem is as you can see the hair doesn't look that bad from the front but from the sides you can definitely see it's a detachable piece the sculpt on the hair is not bad at all but the way it was designed it makes me wish that they had one head sculpt that was without the hat or one head sculpt that didn't they broke it up like this so you can see it's held together with the magnet we do get an Anna Jones signature fedora hat it looks very nice the only problem with this, and you can see when you put on the magnet, um, it looks a little big on him. It doesn't fit quite right. I wish it was a little bit more snug. The outfit also could be a little bit better. It looks like also it's a little bit too big on him. The stitching, it, it doesn't look like it's more tailored to him. You can see it has the uh, the chest. The sculpting looks alright, but it looks like it should have some more paint apps. Like his chest hair is not really showing that well. They're trying to do a little bit dirty look, but it, it just doesn't show up as well. I do like the blood on the back right here. This, the thing is, if you notice, it, the skin doesn't actually have the cuts at all, which it should, it's just the outfit. The tailoring is just a little off in my opinion. The belt looks nice. Pants don't look bad. I like the holster, uh, which has a nice magnitude and it has it also for holding his whip. I do like the sculpting on the bandages. I do wish there was a little bit more dirty feel to the pants. There's also this cut right here, which just looks a little too neat. The boots look pretty good. I like that his looks. He, they have real laces on there, which actually worked out really well. So I think the shoes look turned out really nice, especially on the bottom. With the hat, Indiana Jones stands at 12 and a half inches tall. Compared to other Harrison Ford figures, he is slightly taller, but that's due to the hat being so big. Otherwise, he's pretty much the same size as the Hot Toys Indiana Jones and the Hot Toys Han Solo. For articulation, Indiana Jones, this head can fully rotate. It can only go up that much. It can go down that much. It's like has that rubber neck. That's why it can has a little bit side pivot left and right. The arms can fully rotate. They have a little bit of armpit joint in and out going out that way bend at the elbow they rotate at the elbow only 90 degrees rotate the wrist as well go in and out he has the diaphragm joint that pivots forward and back and moves left and right and a little side pivot and he does have a weight joint that moves left and right and also pivots forward and back and side to side his legs can go forward that much can go back that much he can go only in and out that much rotate the upper part of the leg bend at two points on the knee and his ankles can fully rotate pivot forward and back and he does have an ankle pivot side to side and yeah, jones comes with 11 hands Hands. He comes with a pair of neutral hands, a pair for holding his Sankara stones, a pair for holding his bull rib, a pair of fists, a pair for holding his machete, and a left hand that is for his gun. I also like that each hand has a wrist peg for them. That's something I wish that Hot Toys would do. He comes with his machete, which looks really nice. It's like made of real metal and a little pointy, but not too bad, and it fits nicely in his machete holding hands. He comes with two versions of his whip. He comes with one that's made to hold on his holster of his belt. You just take the little magnet 
good part right here. You can keep it on here, which looks really nice. And he comes with an uncoiled version, which is very nice. It's a little bit poseable. You have like little bendy wire that kind of moves around, but kind of doesn't t stay its shape, but still very nice. Also fits nicely in the whip hands. He comes with this pistol that has some very nice paint apps and detail. Doesn't have any working parts, sadly. It does work with the left hand that's made for holding the pistol. Or you can keep it in the holster for weapon storage, which is really great. He comes with three Sankara stones. Each have some pretty nice paint apps and detail on them. You also get his little satchel, which has a little magnet, little button right there. It has like a little adjustable strap that you can put on there. You can actually keep the Sankara stones on here if you want to. It's hard to keep all three of them in there while keeping it buttoned up, but it, it will hold all three of them. It just will look like this. Or what you can do, you can keep two in the bag and have him holding one like that. He comes with this Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom base with the adjustable cradle. If you get this exclusively from Sideshow Collectibles, you get the three glowing versions of the Sankara stones. They look really cool. I do wish it had some light up feature, but it doesn't. You can definitely see the version with the glowing and the non-glowing one. Overall, if you're a huge fan of Indiana Jones, especially of the Temple of Doom, this is definitely an awesome figure to have in your collection, but it is not without his flaws. I do think the hat is a little too big. I don't like how he looks without his hat with the way the, the big seam for his hair. His clothing could be a little bit better in terms of paint out. I do like that he comes with tons of accessories and tons of different hands to use his accessories. So there's a lot of fun factor with this guy. And it does have a better Harrison Ford likeness than the Hot Toys one. This figure may not be perfect, but Sideshow is definitely giving you a lot of good stuff with this figure. And you can buy this right now at their website for $230, considering everything you get. And with the exclusive still being available right now, getting the extra Sankara stones. If you look past the flaws that I have pointed out, you will have a lot of fun with the poses and all the different accessories he comes with. This is definitely the best Indiana Jones figure that Sideshow has done. And I definitely recommend it for Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom fans. For more, check out my website at seanxlong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mary Live Long and Love Life. You betrayed Shiva. Oh, Namashife. Yo, Namashife. Oh, holy sh. This is hot. This is hotter than McDonald's apple pie. It feels like someone nuked the fridge when they made this. I really love the new suit. Thanks, Cap. I really appreciate that. A lot of people didn't like my old suit. I am, I am giant, giant man here, man, to, here save to save the day. The day.